Hey, hi, this is Jesse from Galleria J. Antonio, 47 Avenue A in New York's Lower East Side. I just had a person come in here and look in this case. This case is filled with over 1,100 Judaic jewelry, uh, Hamsa, Star of David's, uh, things that I have. But she asked me a very interesting question. She said, what is that tree about? Is that just Jewish? Well, I immediately got on Wikipedia. Wikipedia, you know, Wikipedia, Telegraph, Telephone, Telejesse, Telewikipedia. I got on and I found out that the tree is in every major religion and it is really interesting what um, in Jewish sources, it was, it's called Ex Chayam. It's Hebrew for the tree of life. And it's common term in Judaism. The expression is found in the Book of Proverbs and is figuratively applied to the Torah itself. So it's like it's a metaphor for Torah. Ex Chayam is also a common name for yeshivas and synagogues as well as, as, well as rabbinic literature. It is also used to describe the wooden poles which the parchment of the Torah is attached. Uh, it's also in, in the book of Proverbs, the tree of life is associated with wisdom. In Chinese mythology, the tree of life depicts a phoenix and a dragon, and the dragon represents immortality. A Taoist story tells a tree that produces a peach every 3,000 years, and the one who eats the fruit receives immortality. Now that's a hell of a produce, right? In the film, in 2009, Avatar, do you guys remember that movie? Home tree is connected to all other plant life in Pandora. And it is the tree of souls which is connected to all living things. So the tree is always a symbol of prosperity, of connectedness of our history. Now here's the most interesting one, the Rastafarianism. The Rastafarian movement and some Coptic Christians consider cannabis to be the tree of life. Well, any way you look at it, I have tree of life jewelry and tree of life items here that always have a tree, no matter what your beliefs are. So, again, have a good time. It's already tomorrow.